So um, what I'm going to show you this time is how to do a collaboration live. So what we're going to start with is we have two different people here. We have um, Frankie the Cat up here and we have uh, Billy the Bassist. So um, we're going to let Billy the Bassist start this and we're going to be working. They're both going to be working on it at the same time, but you'll see what I mean. So they're going to open it up. Okay. I mean, uh, uh, yeah, they're going to open it up here and we'll go to collaborators. We're going to click on Frankie the Cat and start a live session. Okay. Now, this is Billy the Basis live session for right now, meaning that Billy is the one controlling everything right now. Okay. When Frankie the Cat joins in to create this song, they will have to go to collaborators and join the live session. It says live session in progress. They have to join that live session. Okay. Now, in this case, if you look at it, it says you are now in view mode. Frankie the Cat cannot do much right now. I mean, they can move some stuff around, but I wouldn't deal with that. Like, but you're, there's a lot of stuff missing here. Okay, so Billy the Basis Live Session can now say add something. They can add more to an existing track or they can add another track. We'll just add a saxophone right here. Okay. Okay, so now there's a saxophone. Okay, there's a saxophone right there. If I scroll over, notice, look what happened on um, Frankie the Cat's um, version here. It just shows up. Okay. Now, what we want to do now is switch over. So we go back to collaborators and Billy at the basis live session can now click on this little button right here and say, you know what? I want you to take over Frankie the cat. So you click that button, allow control, allow. Okay. Solution updated. Now Billy the bassist is now in view mode. They can just see what's happening, but Frankie the cat, now, now Frankie the Cat's live session. So Frankie Set says, okay, that's kind of cool, but I'm going to cut this up. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to slice this at the playhead and I'm going to copy and paste and paste and paste and paste and paste and paste. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Frankie the Cat just did that, who is working with Billy the Bassist. If you go, if you look at the computer for Billy, it showed up, it's there. So you have to switch back and forth. And what that does is keep people from being like, if two people do the same thing or different things at the same time, it obviously is gonna get really crazy. As you may have noticed from working on a Google Doc with someone, like except for this is a little bit more complicated in ways than a Google Doc because you're working on this like song. So people moving stuff around is just gonna make stuff really crazy. So that's how live collaborations work. And obviously if you have like six people working on this song, you're only gonna want one person in control and then that person passes off the control to someone else. It's a little tricky. You're gonna have to like um, coordinate and say, okay, we're gonna work on this song at 6.15. Everyone be ready um, and um, person number one, um, she gets to start it off and then she'll pass it off to the next person. Um, with two people, it's a little bit easier, but that's how to create in a live environment. Now notice up here, there's no save function for, um, this is Billy the bassist right here because only in view mode, but over here, right? Um, Frankie the cat can save because Frankie cat has control right now. So then Frankie leaves, they decide we're done for the night. Billy Basis leaves, Frankie the Cat left your live session. Everything's all good, everything's done. That's how you work on a song in a live environment.
All right, so that's it for this video. And um, see you here. All right, good luck.